<laughs> Country girl Emily applied twice to be a cop while studying policing at uni. In year 10, I just decided I wanted to be a police officer. I just knew I didn't want to be stuck in inside job all the time. I just came to one day and just had my mind focused on that ever since. Johnny, no! Packing for eight months away from home, she's having trouble deciding what she'll need. Well, it couldn't hurt to have a few pairs. Narrowed it down to four suitcases, so I think I did pretty well. And then there's Cess, who's never doubted what he wants to do. My name is Cess Barraza, I'm 26, and I want to be a police officer because I hate crime. When I see somebody run a red light, I want to be able to pull them over right there and give them a ticket, or at least cut their licence. This place is a mess. <laughs> I've sorted out all my affairs here. Ah, there they are. Said goodbye to my friends, uh, bought suits. Um, we just need to buy stationery. <laughs> On the Gold Coast, Tool has faced a difficult choice between life and music or life on the beat. Music is my number one passion, but I understand that, you know, you can't always, you can't do everything. You, it's not Hollywood. It doesn't, it doesn't work out in real life like it does in movies. Just the way In Dubbo, Western New South Wales, Anthony is giving up a promising rugby league career to become a cop. I'm Anthony Toomey, 19 years of age, and I want to be a policeman because there's not many black cops out there. You got to go next weekend? Yeah. I'm a cop. Uh... Give us a kiss then. <laughs> Anthony's been brought up by his nan after yeah. his mum died in a car accident. This is me mother. Uh, she died when I was 14, which was just a terrible day for me. It's, it's always just sad just to leave your hometown, to leave everything behind and just go, go with your heart and follow your career. It's just... Excuse me, do you know how to get to um, the police academy? It's the first time many have left home. A career in the force could send them anywhere <laughs> across the state. I basically packed everything, <laughs> just to be sure. Anthony's girlfriend and Nan have come to help him settle in. It's not a bad room. It's better than nothing, I suppose. It's just your meals now. Tula can't leave her music or a few other necessities behind. I brought a dress for um, Melbourne Cup Day. Sess and his wife Jo have been married a year, but now face eight months apart. I know he'll come back home. Hopefully a cop. <laughs> yes, yeah, with his uniform and... Yeah, man in uniform. Pretty good. 